Hi everybody, it's Linda. I wanted to show you a couple of the projects I worked on the last few weekends. I've been following the Cory Dahman series of scrap busting videos and she's working on this really big project right now, um, but that'll be another video. It's still ongoing, but these are little booklets based on um, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that has like three rows of four inch tall like cards, like four by three cards or whatever cutouts you could do. And um, so she shows you how to make this base. And then she, you use the rest of the page, they could cut them into pairs or, or singles and do other things, additions for the book. So this, instead of just doing a regular tie, what I did was I, I wrapped it around and made it look like a bow and then I sewed on these dangles. Aren't they adorable? And I added a key to well, key charm to one and a butterfly to the other. I just love looking at this thing. It's so pretty. So anyway, so there's the front. So when you open it up, um, inside the flap is a little scrap pad. Okay. And over here on the first page is a tuck, and then I just put a little card behind it for writing. Corey was determined to have a writing spot on every page. And then the flap has a little um, cluster there for the fold over. And then on this page was a flip out. An envelope, and I covered it up with um, a flip down. Okay, there's a flip down. It's an envelope. Here's a little punch out of, uh, I guess, like a parrot. And then there's some more writing things in here. When you flip it over, you could still even write on here. And I just glued this little stamp that I have this stamp. I think a lot of us got it from Dollarama. Anyway, so I punch. Whether, if we didn't, I apologize for teasing you. <laughs> but I think a bunch of us got some stamps from them. And um, I just glued it down. I stamped it out, cut it out, glued it down. Then over here, she made, it's a double tuck spot. So I put some tickets in the first one. And then this one is a tag for a writing spot. Then over here is the negative. She wanted to use a negative of a punch out or a die cut. So I backed it with some paper, I'm not sure what. And so this is a double, double tuck spot over here. So this card that I had in my stash, Hello New Day, goes there, and then a bigger one for the bigger tag. And this can be written on both sides. It's just for my stash, these pieces. Over here, this is Velcroed on, and it can, and it flips over, and then it folds out into writing. Sorry, you can write on both sides. Sorry, because I can do that. And you fold it back up, and then you fold it over, and you can close it with the Velcro. And then inside is a little spot for a bookmark. So I should have thickened this one more time, but this is the bookmark. There, with a tag at the top. And over here, this is um, a flip over with a magnet. So there's, there we go, piece of paper. Okay, so instead of, a lot of people use two magnets when they do things like this. I use a magnet and a washer because why? Well, I don't need two magnets, I just need a washer. So the one side is this little scrap pad and then the other side, see, magnet, the other side is just a tuck spot, okay? So I'm gonna oh, put this back on here I'm going to show you that when you turn the page over, so there's there's the other side of that flip, and it's technically a belly band now. So I just stuck a piece of paper in there for writing. Okay, so on this side is a pocket, and then um, a little belly band for a little writing journal, and then this flips open, and there's some stuff stored in here, a couple of tags for writing. And then over here, is a flip down. Okay, so writing spot there, and it just tucks up underneath. And I could probably even, oh yeah, it's glued down. It's totally glued down, just that first panel. Okay, and then anyway, over here, 
Now, when you make the, the base, the first page is cut vertically in half. You cut off a piece and you use that later on in the book in some form. I'm sure we used it and we didn't even notice it. Okay, and then, the, and then there's two pages and then you do add two pairs that you sew down in the middle, in the middle here. And then at the end, on the, there's like, this would be like the third of the four in a row panel. And this fourth one, you cut like, I don't remember the exact measurement, but you cut like an inch and a quarter or an inch and a half off and cut it off. And then this is now loose. So in the second one, she does something different. But in this book, she glued the bottom and the side to make a pocket. So here's a tag I'm, she made, or she instructed us to make, or you can do whatever you want, um, with a little scrap pad on top. And it goes behind, it goes into this pocket. And then um, she, again, she likes to use tracing paper. I use regular coffee dye paper. Some stuff in here, tuck it in. Now I made this, she did this, I think I should have done it on the flap. I did it on the down below and I just attached one each of my little mini tags. I got some of these at Michael's on clearance. So, yeah. And then, um, and then like I, I don't know if I mentioned this, because this is my take two, this is my second take of this video, because I realized I totally missed something in the first one. Um, she has this glued down, this strip of paper. I left it as a tuck on the back. And that's the first journal. And then the second one, again, this is where everything is different, <laughs> but the base is still the same. So, oh my, what did I do here? Okay, so here's this tie. Look at same idea, except this time, because I knew I was going to do this, I, when I got it snug, I ran it under the sewing machine, and then I sewed, hand sewed on a jump ring and then attached these three dangles which the middle one was an earring. I think I still have another one. I think I have its pair still in my stash. Isn't that cute? So there's that guy and that one you can admire. Okay, so again, so this time she flipped the front half over to the front and she added this thing, Velcro, and then here is the scrap pad. And it's Velcroed shut. Oh, and she did lace at, on the spine instead of paper. And then over here, she did this. She didn't, now she shows you instructions on a couple things from this book in a third video, because she kind of goes over this in a se second video compared to the first video that shows how to do this. So I figured this out on my own, because I have done these before, but I was, oh, I was writing paper. I was um, surprised that she, like that I didn't wait long, <laughs> like I was just too much in a hurry. And um, I didn't know she was gonna do a video showing how to do that, but anyway, she does. And then over here, she you take a piece and then you flip this over to make a tuck spot there. And then it's also, I just sewed some, or I think I stapled some sheets together that fit in here and then threw a tag over it to hide the staple. I think that's what I did. It looks like a staple there. And then this page is a belly band. This is the bookmark. I believe this is the bookmark. And then she had a few, she had a few attachments. So I did to that too. They're so cute. Look at them. And then this is a tuck. So you take a four by three, like a, a single piece. And then I had to cut it down though. So it would fit in the book. So it's actually three and a half by three, and I fold it in half, and I sewed in some paper for writing. You had to, I had to cut it down just so that um, it would fit, because remember, this is four inches, so you can't have it four, it won't, it won't go. So over here is, um, there's a tuck. This is bigger than, this was bigger than um, four by three. This might even be a four by, this is a four by four piece of paper, totally like from a different um, book, but it matches, it looks okay. So I folded it in half and there's a pocket here and then a scrap pad here. 
and there's a tuck behind it. Then over here, there's a tuck. Again, this was a four by three, but I folded it the other way, threw in the paper, sewed it down with the sewing machine, and then she also has two little tuck spots here. So, did that. Then over here, she shows you in that third video how to do this, as well as how to do this. I'm pretty sure they're both in the same video. Anyway, this, I had to find a huge piece of paper. and We had some that were 11 by 17. And then I managed, after I, I did a trial, I figured out how I needed it. I needed it four inches, even though I did trim it down a little bit. So four inches tall and 14 and a half. That's how I, how big mine, I needed mine to be. Now you can, it might, you might need it bigger, you might need it smaller, but so. It just depends how you got to find the paper or she got it from a book, right? Like a book where it was a signature from a signature, but I didn't have any paper that was blank. That was when you open it up was that wide, like more than 14 inches. So anyway, I was, I lucked out. So it's a Velcro tab here to hold it down. So she has hers decorated here. I just haven't done that yet. But I could use this as a writing space instead. But you have one writing spot, two and three, okay? And I inked it all up to cover up the stark white because it's not coffee dyed paper that I used. It was just a big pad of 11 by 17. So then over here, you make a pocket. And there's a divot cut. I don't know if you can see that, right? So there's, there's a tag in there. And then she glued uh, this flip up and then the paper flips down for writing and behind it is this tuck spot okay it's able to a tuck spot behind it and then you flip this over and there's a tuck spot here I doubled up my parchment paper to make it stiff and that was my notes with the measurements of what I needed for um, to do this special flip and then over here was another tuck spot. Um, there's a writing thing. And this is where you would get your little arm for the Velcro. Okay, that's just to hold it all down. So that's that. And then on this side of the page is double tuck. I don't, for some reason, I don't have anything here. I guess I just never got around to putting, sticking anything in there. And then I made, I used washi tape and then I sewed down the edge just to make a quick little pad of paper and then over here is I made this a bit thicker than I needed to as you can see there but a little scrap pad and it's belly band as well okay and then there's another tag for writing and then here we turn the page yeah turn the page and then over here it was a piece of triangle and then you fold over the edge and then that way you get a tuck spot here and then a big tuck spot here. You can even stick something from over here from this angle if you want. But oh, and this is a card um, that I sewed on to this piece of writing paper. Okay, I folded it up and then I sewed that onto the top and that way it's all folded up and goes in there. And then over here, this is that, again, you do the same thing. You cut that panel out, that little panel out, but instead of gluing it down, it flips out and it's a little writing spot here. And then there's a pocket here. Oh, and this is um, another little booklet you open up and there's a scrap pad on one side. Okay, so that goes in here. And then on the flap, she put an envelope, which is a belly band. I just stuck a little uh, I was getting tired of trying to figure out what to stick in these things. Oh, hang on. There we go. So I just stuck a die cut um, in there for now. And then in the in the envelope, I think I threw some little pieces. I'm not going to bother opening it, but... Oh, sorry. Things are falling. Um, but yeah, I was... I think I was starting to like get near the end and couldn't, was getting tired of working on it. Anyway, so let me just put that back in here. And then I did not, see, sometimes you need to trim things because when you're closing it, you don't want it to constantly hit. So I still may have to trim that just a sliver. 
And then I didn't do anything to the back, but there's the other side of the lace. So that's it. These are the two little um, books I've been working on from the Cory Darman series. If you guys like to make junk journals and have little, and get some ideas on different things you can do, you honestly, you all have to go watch her. I know some of you do watch some of Corey's videos, but you really have to um, go check her out, especially for this series. She's working on one now. I call them assignments. She makes, she doesn't make us. She has us make a couple things every day. And then Monday will be the last day, and then she's going to put her book together and show us, and then do videos on how she put her book together. So I've had to, I've done most of it, but some things I didn't do because I need to know the size of the paper or the page. And since I don't know what that will be, um, I left some of my assignments unfinished, <laughs> as I call them. Anyway, so um, that's what I've been working on. And... I wanted to show you guys because I just love these things. They're just so cute and such a great idea too. Anyway, so that's what I've been doing and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.